that it's like an Ikea build. Really? Would you like some? <laughs> we can be here any second. So it's the reassembly. <laughs> How's it going? It's not fitting right now. <laughs> they said it's like an IKEA build. <laughs> they don't ever go back together the way that it originally was designed. <laughs> So he built this in the workshop, took it apart, and now putting it back together here in the uh, the chicken run. They'll get their own run. Are you attaching it to this board, or this one over here? Probably shouldn't. This one here? Are you going to just run a, a line across, or are you going to do it, just it, give its own run? I have no idea. Okay. We got our first... Oh, I bumped my arm. Two pips. Both of these have pipped. Oh, I'm so, see that right there where my light is shining? That's a pip. And then this one right here again where the light is shining. I'll move away so you can see. There's a pip. I don't see one yet on this egg over here. But this just happened in the last like hour. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is the lid? Yes, this will be the lid. Oh. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Nope, they don't listen to me, see? They don't listen. Choo! Choo-choo! She's like, yeah, you, you don't mean this. <laughs> you guys are so bad. You don't listen to mom. It's because these aren't real men. I should have... Uh...
door is finally fixed. I'm only up some, uh, winding up some hose so you can not worry about, about it. Went to the garden, thinned out a couple carrots, gonna give them to the bunny. Well, I know they like carrot tops, so yeah. What do you think, Polly? Would you like some? I don't want this. Come on. Let me clean your cage. What do you think? Do you want it? <laughs> yes? Oh, hey, so I made a, uh, made a nice, nice opening here. I was mm -hmm. like, ah, oh, it's going to be great. You'll be able to reach in, mm -hmm. open it up. For now, it's just kind of just close that off for a bit. And then Liam says, well, what about, what about to give him food and water? And I said, they don't need that. <laughs> so, I got to rethink some of this. Well, it's a nice gauge. It is. <laughs> but the whole thing's very nice. So, a nice little uh, run here. Well, why don't you just use a gate at the end? That's what I was thinking. Now, uh, just yeah. cover this for the most part. Well, you still need, yeah. I'll, I'll make something. That well, I wouldn't be able to get in there. So, I mean, unless I wanted to crawl in there. So, I would use this to open it up. Yeah. So, that's fine for me. So, this will be a coop inside of a coop or a run. Coop in a coop. Yeah. Coop run. Coop run. That's right. Wish the way the sun was didn't make it so hard to see. Alrighty. You guys ready for your new coop? Yeah? Okay. There's Liam out there watching him. The neighbor uh, is getting his field uh, turned to hay. So, looks like about to get a bale, about to come out of the baler. There it goes. And there's the bale. progress is being made it's slow going but it's being made so that is the gate for here I'm not really sure exactly what's going on but that's that's what's going on <laughs> the ducks and the chicks are over there they're making a lot of noise. They must have found something or oh they might be hungry. They might be out of food. Got to work on that. Good job, bud. What are you doing? Um I wanna show you something on the tractor. Okay. Oh, okay. He's gonna show me something on the tractor because I'm gonna go mow. Okay, hold on. So when, you, when you turn off the throttle, there's this little, like, little divot in here on the side. Okay, and there's and a divot. And then a little chip that goes right in there. When that little chip is in that divot, then that's when it's it's good enough to mow. It's not on choke. Well, how will I know? Here, I'll show you. Okay. Can you hold this? Hold on one second. I get it. I was absolutely terrified. Because it's a hill and you're like sideways. We had to take over at one point. But I did the other side. I did it scared. Terrified, actually. I had to stop a couple times. Gather myself. So there was no video of me doing it. But I did it. Can you see it? It's one long 
same chick out there. Everybody else is here at the feeder or at the water. More interested in bugs and being a chicken. It's awesome. So right now, I feel like the bucks are eating the most food. I really need to get them out on pasture. I know I talk about it all the time, but there's just been a lot of other projects and all the things that have kind of gotten in the way of that. So yeah, it's gonna happen. Hopefully tomorrow. I'm gonna work on that. So just need to make some changes on um, energizers and what's connected to what and I'm gonna make it work. Uh, modifications already happening? Yes. I take after Mater from Cars. Yeah? Yes. It was a Cars 2. Yes. Yeah. Modify. <laughs> okay. really hard to see but it's making its way all the way around oh there we go it's turning around in the shell oh my gosh i'm so excited this one's still working at it it's moving a couple times in there but it's a little behind the other one we'll see I'm really hopeful this one's gonna be out within the next hour or two i don't know how long it takes but yeah pretty excited Okay, I'm not pretty excited. I'm like ecstatically excited. Is that even a word? Phrase? Alright, so you can see it breathing in there. It's zipping itself around. And you can still see how much this membrane is still stuck, stuck to it. So if all this work that it's doing helps that to slowly detach so they don't get shrink wrapped in the egg. So that's why you keep the humidity up. That's very important. So, while I've been excitingly watching the goslings hatch, Julio has been bush hogging. So, that's looking great. He's done a fabulous job. Eventually, hopefully, we would love to be able to turn this section over here into hay, but we don't have the resources or the stuff yet to do that. But it'll happen one day. Mm-hmm. Takes a little bit. Look at it go. Uh, oh, it's Elena's hair, sorry. It's okay, you can keep looking. You keep looking, sweetie. There we go. Here it comes. Sweet little one. <laughs> you can be here any second. Any second now, huh? Yeah. Just taking a lot of weight. It is taking a lot of weight, huh? Yeah. But it's doing really good. Yeah. Don't it's, touch it. Don't touch it, Elena. Don't touch. Its belly is beating really fast. <laughs> it's a lot of work to break through that eggshell, isn't it? Yeah. Welcome to the world, baby. Come here. Its head's up. Got yourself all the way over on the side. Alright, well, looks like it's doing pretty good. Now it's got to get itself fully out of the egg. This one's just starting to zip. Looks like it's gonna unzip itself here At soon. The end of the day, it'll probably both be out. That would be the hope, yes. So oh, it's hard to see, but it got one leg out. So it's on the other side. Yeah. Okay. It's blurry because there's a lot of humidity in there. Um, let's see if I can show you. See how there's two? It's the egg there. It's still attached a little bit. That's why you don't want to just pull the egg off because you cause it to bleed. So it's slowly just drying up and detaching on its own. 
This one's still working its way. Just filling up water, keeping everybody cool the next, well, for today especially, and next couple of days for sure. Always make sure all summer long we have uh, cool water available. All right, so Julio has been bush hogging back here. The goats went running back here. I'm not sure if it's because they knew he was out here or they just wanted to go where it was cool. Finally being smart. There he is. Wow, he's done a lot. Yeah. All right, so bush hogged. Oh, we can't go over there though, sweetheart. We got little ones here. Woo! Why can't we go over there? Cause Daddy's working. He bush togged all that. Looks great. Looks great. I'm not sure why he left the tuft there in the center. Maybe he's going to go back to it. Because <laughs> right there, there's like a little tuft right there. Get CC. CC. All right, I'll get a video of Cece. Hold on. Okay. There's Cece. Mm, eating clover. Yummy clover. Look at that. She's going right for it. You see it? She knows the good stuff. And we have Diamond, Aurora, Maisie, and Belle. And all the babies back there. Oh, there's Rose. Some more babies. And Shine's back there too. Does it get any better than this? I keep saying that at different times, but wow. He's bush hogging, they're eating. Kids are enjoying the time. Dad, Dad, give me up ice cream. Okay, a frozen yogurt? Okay. Okay. You cleaning that out? Awesome. Whoa! <laughs> We were working on this one. Could use a little, maybe a little extra scrubbing, but it's looking really good. So I'm heading out to the garden. I am going to try and see if we have any zucchini ready. It was looking like it was gonna be ready like a day or two ago, so it's not too big. Ooh, I can already see it. It's ready to go. Alright, so we got this one. There we go. Nice size summer squash. Put that one there. This zucchini looks just perfect. Let's see if I oh no, I just dinged it. No. Alright. There's another one over here. Ooh, this one's a little big. That got big fast. Oh boy. So you know I have these tomatoes. I don't know if you can see. They're ah these ah things buzz around and they scare me. Okay. Nice. Those are just some slicing tomatoes. Some over there as well. They're growing. I'm not sure if you can see. But they're there. And down this way we have we have Romas. These are just starting. These are the ones we got at the, um, what was that? The nursery. So they were a couple weeks behind. We have lots and lots of Romas starting here. So it's exciting. The only problem is 
my sauce recipes call for peppers. My peppers are still a little ways behind. They have flowers, some of them. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of small right now. So, let's see. So, we'll see what happens. If we can get anything. So, I've been weeding the corn and finding that it had very poor germination, right? Because... I mean, I can understand if it just was having a hard time because of the weeds, because, I mean, like, that's what the weeds look like, and then afterwards you can see my corn. Um, but some of the rows, it is very, very bare. So, yeah, kind of kind of disappointed in uh, the seed that I got this year. But, I mean, there are some. And where's the other one? Anyway, they're around here. But the highlight... So far of all my weeding is finding this. Very, very excited about that. So these onions have been sitting out. They've dried. Um, so I'm going to go bring them in the house now. I just pulled some garlic. Again, not, not too great, but, you know, could be worse. The ground's pretty bad, so actually a decent size I mean still again small these are that's a nice size onion but then we also have ones that are like you know really teeny tiny so this is a really nice one I have some more onions in there <laughs> and a lot more garlic and it is so overgrown with weeds uh, these are the onions I pulled today these are some nice size ones the last of the Red onions. This one's a really nice one. Um, they have to dry first. 